M0 FXB, PMR 171 by Guatech. Sounding really good on HF 40 meters. Have a good afternoon, over. And that's the internal speaker. I've had it on my VHF and UHF and it sounds fine. I know there's quite a few negative reviews. Well, you've got to think it's HF, VHF, UHF plus a lot more, goes up to 2 gigahertz. And it's £400, so it's all relative, isn't it? Well, of course, upper sideband, lower sideband. You just press. When the cursor goes red, you can move it to fine tune. There you go. Press again, it goes red, move to the left. You have to remember to press again, it goes blue. Move it to back to zero. Press. <clears throat> the encoder works well. Back here. And how many radios at this price level can you transmit on and get all these bands? Twenty watts. There's all the bands. C B. Some people like that. Two meters seventy or the HF top band. You know, you want the conditions to be good, good antenna. But for portable work, it's got an included battery on this. You know, you put the battery on a long wire, 49 to 1 ballon, and a long wire, or an unun, should I say. Get out of your shack so that you don't get any interference. It is small. You know, the screen's small, the buttons are small, the whole thing's small, but it's like a Yaesu 817, isn't it? Three point seven point zero firmware on this one. And apparently it's got a sound card in. I haven't even tried, you know, the Digimode yet. I'm just trying this out now. It's quickly changed to 20 meters. So band. And I have not got the DMR module in this one, unfortunately, or the GPS, but they do make one. So where is it? Uh, da, da, da. 14 megahertz, press. Built-in tuner here, and it's automatic. Upper sideband, but there is a mode button here if you need it. I haven't even tried upper sideband, to be honest. Press to make sure it's blue. If we just press the tune... Yeah, I had a little buzz there. It's a fast tuner. It's quite a quiet tuner. But yeah, not happening. <laughs> Need a better antenna for that, I think. Nothing there at all, unfortunately. Let's try v UHF. <clears throat> Let's see if I can get my node to activate. Oh, there is, there is someone there. And then when you go into the menu, press and hold this one. And you can start going into the deeper menus there. You've got a broadcast radio that works well. APRS, but you need the module. DMR, you need the module. It's, the, the SWR meter does work. Music and messaging. and On one of the other models, they had a Ethernet connector. You can see that there. 
go into settings and yeah look at that Whew. so uh more videos on this of course i think the next video i'll probably do is just setting up a normal vhf repeater antenna wise just remember you'll need a tnc <coughs> adapter here uh just get tnc to blue to bn to bnc uh very only three pound i think on amazon they do give you an antenna actually like a long bendy antenna that is that size Put your wire down here on this one gps if you get the module gps here and there's a setup if you did do the dmr thing uh, let's press and hold go to dmr press and look these are all the settings but it comes to life i am trying to get a module uh, i just was actually trying to find a video where the mod module plugs in and i couldn't actually see so I I think I'm just going to take the lid off and then do a video showing people where the modules plug in. Uh, but anyway, learning all the time. Let me show you the battery. There's the battery, the clips. To make them come up, you do have to push that tab up. So when they're in, that's their normal position. It won't open. Push up and then they, they open. And then you've got here, look, um, the uh, an input and an output. Sorry about that. Input and output for power. So you don't actually have to plug the battery into it but obviously it just sits on it and at the back there then you've got connectors for your speakers and usb and it just sits on that it becomes a very tall unit when you do that but you can power it like this you don't need to connect it mine's got the round pin microphone that i prefer and it comes with this it's just like a yesu dtmf and all these buttons you know as you can see all there all these buttons do stuff just pressing um, so they tried to do it so you can, and they have done it, and you can type in a frequency as well, four, three, four, five, five. Uh, keep going until you see the right frequency, with the noughts, keep like that, and then press hash, and then it takes you to the frequency that, that you want there. And uh, so, yeah, you can type the frequency here, PTT, band, on, off, split. It's not a dual receive, but it is dual display. And you can go A and B just here. Because as you saw there. And you can see my hand, it sort of obliterates it. It's a small set like the 817. DSP, noise reduction, noise blanker, and peak there. PA 20 watts, look. And then bandwidth, once you press that, it goes green here and you turn, press again. If you press and hold, you can choose different displays. Let's get the right one. Yeah, it's the NR button. Look, you can do full waterfall, partial, it's like more spectrum. Oops, I just turned on the noise reduction. Then you got both. Then you have nothing. <laughs> I don't see the point of that one, but I think most will choose both. And so then if you go for one, four, four, five, dot. Oh, no. One, four, five, six. Keep going with the noughts. One, four, five, six hundred. And that'll be GB3WR, but that'll be on this antenna that's not connected at the moment. They do include an antenna, a USB stick for firmware, but I don't think I'll ever do the firmware myself. Uh, you never know. And um, a charging, a charging uh, um, power supply to charge the battery and power the back power the device as well. Actually, does. I don't think it will power it on 20 watts though when you're transmitting. Uh, bye for now, all the best.